If you look at it from just an engineering point of view or a flood control point of view, we have a job to do. We have to collect stormwater and we have to get it through the system and get it safely out of the city. Now we have people camping out on levees. It's hard to visualize the urbanization of these creeks and what's happening. We have the largest population ever in these channels. The biggest challenge is just the day-to-day -day grind of how to operate and maintain a flood control system when you have people living on it. We might have a team walking on the levee and, oh, there's an encampment down in there. Let's go check it out. Well, maybe we're not gonna check it out if there's, when you hear dogs barking and is it safe to go in there? So we might not be able to actually get to the site. We are flood control engineers. We're not a social service. We're not trained or accustomed to dealing with, with the homeless population. We are all aware that when you're in the creeks, there are certain situations that can and will happen. I've told my team, if you don't feel safe going somewhere, you're not going. I mean, let me know what's not getting done. If you feel threatened or if you feel like you're, in a, you're getting in a situation where you can't control what's happening, just leave. If you ask if this wasn't something that they should have saw coming, I almost don't see how you couldn't see it coming. In some ways, areas where there are flood control facilities are the best for the, the homeless community. I know where I would go if I was homeless. It sure would be on a freeway overpass. It would be more somewhere like on the parkway or on the levee. What many people are trying to do once they've become homeless is stay under the radar. They are worried about their own safety. Everybody is, is living where they can find a place to live. But we're also putting vulnerable communities in areas where in almost no time at all, they can be in risk of losing their lives. When we do have storms, which results in high flow events. Channels move, you know, the water moves 30 miles per hour. You can't outrun it. You can't swim in it once you get caught up in it. In the process, their belongings pollute the water, which creates problems for downstream diverters. So now we've got a flood issue. Now we got water trying to get out of the channel. We're trying to overtop a bridge. Meanwhile, maybe their structure that they've temporarily put up has cut into the levee. Structures, houses and businesses that are next to that channel can get flooded. So there is a domino effect. And so we may be heading for a true disaster. You know, we are all working towards the same end. Nobody out there thinks that we should have a bigger homeless problem. We need to find ways of helping the general public understand how important this is. Some folks might have the maybe false sense of security with, uh, you know, levy systems in place. We're all interested in getting the federal agencies we deal with to be more aware of what's happening on the ground. Whether it's, it's in urban streets or out on our floodplains, we need help. It's just like flood control. The consequences to our society of continuing to allow unregulated camping on flood control facilities is devastating. We need to be part of the solution here, not just say, hey, there needs to be a solution. But we are doing what we can and collaborating with whomever is interested <laughs> to move forward and, and try and do more.